The Republic of Indonesia is made up of more than 17,000 islands in the area between the Indian and Pacific Oceans. The nation has a large Muslim majority, so it's constantly confronted with a difficult question. Do I want to be an island paradise or a Sharia-compliant hellhole? Island paradise, Sharia-compliant hellhole. Island paradise, Sharia-compliant hellhole. Hmm. And it looks like they're going with Sharia-compliant hellhole. Every morning, Indonesia wakes up and says, how can I be more like Pakistan today? Indonesia isn't Pakistan yet. If you're even accused of blasphemy in Pakistan, you'll be brutally murdered by a mob of morons. In Indonesia, blasphemy will get you prison time. International Christian Concern reports. International Christian Concern, ICC, has learned that on April 6th, an Indonesian Christian YouTuber was sentenced to 10 years in prison for a viral YouTube video that allegedly offended Muslims across Indonesia. Mohamed Kace, 56, is a former Muslim cleric who converted to Christianity in 2014. After his conversion, he began uploading videos to YouTube criticizing his former faith. He was arrested in Bali last August following a sermon video in which he allegedly insulted the Prophet Muhammad. So this guy was a Muslim cleric, but he left Islam. Smart move. And he converted to Christianity. Even smarter move. And he started making YouTube videos criticizing Islam. This guy's a genius. I made a short video about him last year when he was arrested, but now he's been sentenced to 10 years in prison. On April 6th, the judges of Chiamis District Court in West Java province agreed with prosecutors to slap him with a 10-year sentence for his offenses. Thousands of Muslims surrounded the court in support of the harsher prosecution of Kache. During his detention, Kache was treated in an inhumane way. He was allegedly beaten and tortured by a police official named Napoleon Bonaparte, who was detained in the same prison due to a corruption case. Bonaparte forced Kache to eat his excrement. The police named five suspects in the alleged beating and torture of him after his maltreatment was revealed to the public. So the Indonesian government doesn't need to torture you for blasphemy. They can just lock you up with people who will torture you for blasphemy. Pretty slick way to get around people's human rights, Indonesia. According to UCA News, Martin Lucas Samanjutak, Kace's lawyer, said the sentence was harsh and that his client would appeal the sentence. In other such cases, sentences have been lighter, he said. We will appeal the verdict, or at the very least, the sentence imposed on him. While it is not unusual for Christians to fall victim to Indonesia's draconian blasphemy laws, a Christian-turned-Muslim cleric who was arrested last August for insulting Christianity, Muhammad Yahya Waloni, was sentenced to merely five months in prison in comparison. The inconsistent standard embedded in Indonesia's legal system is self-evident. So, Indonesia pretends to be fair by punishing blasphemy against any religion, but it only hands out the harsh penalties for blasphemy against Islam. Not surprising at all, when have governments in Muslim-majority nations ever been fair? Andreas Harsono, a senior researcher for Human Rights Watch Indonesia, told ICC the Indonesian government should promptly repeal the blasphemy law. Both Christian preacher Muhammad Kace and Muslim cleric Yahya Waloni need not to stay a single night in prison because of the toxic law. The right to speak one's mind is essential and must be protected. This sort of treatment and punishment under Indonesian law is a shameful reality, said Timothy Carruthers, ICC's advocacy manager for Southeast Asia. As long as Indonesia continues to enforce religious harmony through regulation and prosecution, it will continue to achieve the opposite. Notice, Human Rights Watch Indonesia and International Christian Concern are consistent, unlike the Indonesian government. They say, drop the blasphemy laws for everyone, Muslims and Christians. Well, this one hits a little close to home. Mohamed Kace 
is going to spend 10 years in prison for doing what I do every day. He's going to spend 10 years in prison for criticizing the most obvious false prophet in history, an illiterate 7th century Arabian caravan robber who decided that he owns the world. Mohammed Kacha is in prison for stating the obvious. Of course, here in the West, there are plenty of corporations and platforms and politicians and journalists who are trying to catch up with Indonesia's blasphemy laws. In the West, they don't beat you to death for blasphemy like they do in Pakistan. They don't throw you in prison like they do in Indonesia. Here, if you criticize Muhammad, they'll call you names like racist and Islamophobe. They'll ban your content. They'll deplatform you. They'll fire you. And they'll occasionally kill you. Just ask the Charlie Hebdo cartoonists. Oh, you can't because they were slaughtered in the name of Allah for making fun of the fake prophet that nearly everyone in any position of power here says we're not supposed to make fun of. Who knows? Maybe we'll pass Indonesia and go straight to acting like Pakistan. Yeah, yeah, yeah.